Hello guys, welcome to PC Drills where you find help on how to handle your PC related issues. Today I'll be showing you how you can access the web interface on the modem you have. Let's say these small portable modems usually have a web interface. On that web interface, that's the interface where you can change the settings, the options, the passwords, the usernames of the Wi-Fi as you need. When you buy these Wi-Fi's, these small modems, usually they give you, they tell you that this is the password you should use, this is the username, this is the name of the Wi-Fi that you'll be using, and so on. But all those settings can be modified. And to modify them, you need to access the web interface of this particular device. So for example, this one is dedicated to Orange. It's using a service provider called Orange, Orange Network. If you know of orange, you can see from this orange color you have here. Generally, when you buy it, you have the password behind. You open the back and remove the battery. Just from this cover behind here, you can already see the password for this. The default, you can have the default Wi-Fi name is Airbox AC8B. Can see the password 99160 those are default values so what i say web interface is an interface that can help us modify all these values so if you are to connect to this wi-fi you must use you must check for the wi-fi with this particular name and you check for the password which is which will be these numbers you can modify the password later here is simply just the battery and you have now the modem Generally, if you don't see the password pasted on the back cover, you can also see it pasted behind the battery. For example, if you check, if you can see well, there is always a paper behind the battery, beside where you have the SIM card and the rest. Then you can see the name of the Wi-Fi. I also see something there, key. For mine, it's written key. And the same number matches with the other number that was written on this. So if you don't see this one, you don't see the password from here, you also check from here, you will see the password written on this particular piece of paper. And this password is very important because if you, if you forget all your settings or you forget your password, this is a default that will always come back when you reset. So that being said, if you want to follow up the video and also change your Wi-Fi settings, this is how you see yours. Check under the battery. You remove the back cover, you remove the battery, and you check there's always a paper. Sometimes it will be written password, key, and so on. And sometimes you see username, password. Generally, you have something like admin, admin as password and username. We'll get to that. But for now, this is the, the part you need to check physically so that you can at least connect to the Wi-Fi. So if you, you are using your phone or your computer or any device that you are using to access the Wi-Fi, that's how you do it. You first of all, check for the password and the username or, an, or the name of the Wi-Fi. Then now uh, you can put back your battery, close it up, cover it, and you switch on your Wi-Fi. Depending on your type of Wi-Fi, you have various locations that you can use to switch on. This one is at the corner now when it's on for this type you can see all this if all these are blue it means everything is okay but when it loads this one is generally for network the first one is for network second one is for wi-fi meaning that's bringing out hotspot you can see it and this third one is for message and this other one signals the battery blue on battery means a battery is charged blue on message means you have received a message blue on network on this uh, particular Wi-Fi icon means it's broadcasting out Wi-Fi but red on or blue or any color here this one is for the network now it's red like you see I do not put any SIM card inside that's why it's red if I put a SIM card it will also show network and be blue color this battery is blue but it blinks meaning that it's not on charge and depending on the type of modem you have you have various characteristics but that being said let's move over and try to connect given that you have already seen the name and password 
for your Wi-Fi that you need to use. Now you go and connect to the Wi-Fi network. First of all, you switch on your Wi-Fi. This is generally the icon for Wi-Fi. When you switch it on, you go to settings if you wish. You switch on your Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi is going to detect the various networks available. For mine, since I've already changed it, you will not have the name of Airbox, ACB, and so on. Since I've already been used to changing the name. Here's the name of my own Wi-Fi here, Merry Christmas, and I've already connected to it sometime. I just have to click on it and it connects. If it was that I didn't connect to it when I click, they will ask for the password. And that password will be the numbers I saw behind the modem if they have not yet been changed. So my phone is telling me that there's no internet. Actually, it's because there's no SIM card. I'm just using this for demonstration. So as it's like this, I just say keep Wi-Fi connection. Then now, to access the web interface, you need to use a web browser. No matter the web browser you choose, any of them should work just fine. For example, I might choose to use Chrome. Chrome here is a web browser. Another person might choose to use Firefox, DuckDuckGo, Phoenix, any type of browser that you wish to use. You just open the browser that you like. You open this. I've chose Chrome to use as my own browser. So what you need to search is an address. That address sometimes is behind the modem. You will see it generally sometimes is 192.168.1.1 or 192.168.8.1. It depends depending on the type of modem you have. So for this type of modem, just looking behind the modem, you can see the address. So on your own, also look after under the battery. You see something starting with 192.168. something. something. So there are some figures. If you are not familiar with IP addresses, just know that there are some figures separated with dots. But if you already know, just know that it's a Type C address that you need to type in. For my own modem, I already know that it's 192.168.1.1. So to type it. I use my keyboard and I go on the search address, the search bar, I write 192.168.1.1. After typing this, I just take search. After searching, it will just open you a page that shows something related to your modem. If you type dot one dot one, let's say you don't know about your own address. If you type one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot one and it doesn't open a page for your own modem, type one nine two dot one six eight dot eight dot one. It should open. If it doesn't open, it means maybe the owner has changed it, so it is not it's no longer the default. But if it's your own modem, you have just bought it brand new, you will likely see it under the battery and that one will work for you so right now mine is dot one dot one and it has opened here you can just see some basic information for example on this first page you can see it's from one to five various modems will have various interfaces it will not look like this for your own modem but the options will still be similar and do the same thing for for example here this first one you have here for the page one you have the battery is showing that no sim card because i did not put a sim card inside it's showing one connected which is just this device i'm using now for the demonstration and you can see the battery is charging i've put it on charge so to avoid it running down while i make the video if i go on page two option two of the device you see a usage you see my area client and so on all these are related to orange then if you see here the third one talks about messages so they say login as admin to read your messages anybody can access this page so far as they use your network so for you to be able to see what's inside you need to put the admin name and admin password for it to access some particular functions so even if anybody if you give access to your wifi to any person that person can access this particular page the only difference now is the person cannot do anything because they will not have the name and the password provided you have changed and put 
a username and password that was difficult to guess or that's very secure let's put it that way if you go on number four you have now ussd this is particular sim for you to activate your data you don't necessarily have to remove sim put on another phone to activate data run some codes check balance and so on here you can just come here to ussd and you put codes you take enter it searches online and brings you the result you can activate your data check balances and so on then the last one is number five you can see here the number of networks that are activated you can see the first one merry christmas is ticked meaning that it's activated you can see this other one uh airbox with zero clients the first one has one connected client the second one has zero because it, and you see an x if you look where you see an x and that x shows that it is disabled if you even want to see the name the name of users that are connected to your network you can take this user list but you still have to put the admin password so any of these options you can only view but to modify anything or enter deeper you must put the admin password so to enter the admin interface you just press on the settings button I press on the settings button they tell you that feature only available to administrator you see now login and password you see up when they put log in they put in bracket admin by default meaning that if you don't change it the default username is admin password is also admin by default meaning if you don't change it you will remain admin so anybody that is connected to your wifi can always enter inside if it's always admin admin that's why they say always change default passwords so for my own wifi i have not yet changed it so my password is admin my username also is still admin also put my username and password are still admin those are the defaults given by the modern when you just buy it after putting a password you just take ok now Bog is asking me to save password sometimes not useful sometimes useful after connecting now the first page you can see here is showing connection you see the topics of you have connection you have wifi you have sms you have system you have security all these have various uses <coughs> the first one that deals with connection you have things like the network uh, the type of addresses uh, the type of devices are connected to block a device uh, change some particular configuration like ip and so on anything related to connection even like roaming mode or the things related to a network for example setting up internet connection on your phone that you bought all those things are related to this first option of connection the second one is the wi-fi this is the most important part that everyone always has to set you can see this first one it has the country mode wi-fi channel all these first options up and out usually advisable to change unless you know why you are changing it or how to change it when you are sure of the settings you are putting but what we can change here that is really recommendable is the ssid this option of ssid you can see i've put merry christmas that was my wi-fi name if you come here you have not yet changed yours you also see your own name like here by default the first day was airbox acb as we saw behind then i've changed i put merry christmas you can also see that they have told you that you only have between 1 and 32 characters so you cannot put something too long then the security is advisable you put wpa2 security but if you don't know it or you have never familiar with it just put the wpa2 and align like that then you come down you have the key this key now is your password remember my own password was starting with 99 something something i changed it if I hadn't I changed it, I will have the 99 here. But here, I've already changed the password. You can see I've put 12345. I've changed the password. If you are to change yours, you, also, you can also put on show password. You change the password and put what you like. That's what I've just done for this my own Wi-Fi. You change the password, you change the name. That's how it is.
so if the intent of watching the video was just to be able to change your wi-fi password maybe you're over giving it to your friends and now you want to limit the number of people that have your wi-fi password that have access to your wi-fi that's all you need to do just come here and change the wi-fi then you also have ssid2 meaning that if you want to enable another wi-fi like another hotspot coming from the same modem for example my mother was showing me uh merry christmas if i want to change and add another one maybe happy new year so that one device will have merry christmas happy new year maybe one will have guests maybe some people will be connected under guests some people will be connected under the main network all those things you just have to enable this ssid but it is not advisable unless you really need it so the maximum number of users you can limit the number of people that connect to your wi-fi here down you have maximum number of users i've put five so if i've connected five already six the six device cannot longer connect so if you want to change your wi-fi password you just have to come to the portion that relates to wi-fi and you go down to the ssid and the key just these two things I have to change. So if you are willing to go further, let me just glance over the other portions. On this part of SMS, the part of SMS you can have new, new to write a new SMS, read to read a new, to read the new SMS I've entered, sent, draft, SMS settings, and so on. You also have system. This system now is where you reset. If you have an an issue with your modem maybe you have forgotten the password but you can access here you can come either you can go and view it at the beginning or you can come here and you reset here you have the reset reboot backup restore and so on all of them are available under this portion where we have secure uh, system so all the device informations you can have them here and if you modify anything you have to save it and when you save you will restart so that password where we came and put admin admin this is where the password is so if you want to change and put another password to access this particular interface you go on security you try to find this one new password confirm new password if you change your password under this system if you change your password here it means for you to access it on the web interface that's the password you use but to connect your wi-fi normally like your friend wants to connect and use your data they don't use this password but if you want to enter into this page where we are setting all everything concerning the modem this is where you come you come on secure on system and you change the system password remember if you change the system password and you forget it that admin admin that's always there if you change it and you forget it you yourself you can no longer use your modem so you only need to reset it flash it by using other means depending on how your modem works and this last one here you have security in security generally you don't need to change anything unless you really understand the functions inside the modem so let's just allow it for your own research you can change it on your own the first one here i skipped it because it's having too many options first one here you have connection status if i choose the first one that has connection status you can see here that status no sim card everything on this connection status you can only read you can see that there's no sim card network name no network roaming no ip address no ipv6 address no you can have ssid one you have the first network you have merry christmas security type is this users you only have one out of those five users that are connected that's all you can see if you take again connection here you have profile management where you have all the various options generally you don't change anything on at this particular level this profile management is at the level of connecting to mtn or orange when you put your sim card generally it fills down this one for you or the apn and so on so you don't change this one manually unless you have to here you have also network where you can switch and switch on and off stuff and when you have uh, users connected 
they will be displayed here so you have uh, the operator service and so on the status you also have pin management router management and so on generally that's just all you need to know about the, this interface unless you need to go deeper and you have a particular question then we can help you more we hope the video was useful and if you have any questions please ask us in the comment section or contact us using any of the means that you can use to contact pc drills mostly on youtube available on facebook and other social media platforms see you next time and if you have any specific question we will be available to help you we hope it was really helpful and learned something from it bye for now